If you have a test version of your website and you use Google Analytics 4, then this video will explain what to do about it. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with GA4, then consider subscribing to the channel. Let's say that I have a website and its URL is gtmcourse.myshopify.com. And also I have a testing website where developers work and they first implement changes there, they test it. And once those changes are properly configured, then they switch to the live website. So if you're working with a similar setup, you definitely must have separate Google Analytics properties, one for your live website and one for your testing website. And then when it comes to the setup of Google Tag Manager, you have two options. One would be to have one Google Tag Manager container for both websites, but you're using different Google Tag Manager environments, or the other one could be two containers, where you have one Google Tag Manager container for your live website and one for testing website. The second setup is pretty straightforward. You could have container A on live website, and then you could have Google Analytics 4 property A on live website in that particular container. And then in the test website, you would have second container with second Google Analytics 4 property. But if you are working with one Google Tag Manager container, that is being used both by live website and by testing website, here's what you could do. Here I have one Google Analytics 4 property, which is for the live website and another one for the testing. So when I have those properties, I would go to admin, data streams, and then make sure that both properties have website data stream. So I can click on the first data stream in the live website and then open the settings of the second data stream, which belongs to the testing website property. So admin, then data streams, and here are the settings of that second stream. So I have two measurement IDs, testing ID and life ID. So what should you do in your Google Tag Manager container? The most optimal option, if you have one container across both websites, would be to first create a variable, which is lookup table. So in variables, click new, then variable configuration, and then select lookup table. This table will return the correct measurement ID based on the host name. So if this lookup table is used on the live website, then it will return live website's measurement ID. So the input variable here should be page host name because we're going to check the host name or in other words, the main and subdomain. And then if it matches particular value, then we want to use the measurement ID of the first data stream. Now let's click add row in the input and enter the host name of the live website. So that will be GTM course, my Shopify com and then another one will be gtmcourse2.myshopify.com. And obviously here you should enter your own domains. And then in the output, we must enter the measurement ID of the live website. We see that it is live right here. So we will enter it here. And if hostname is of our testing website, then we want to use the second measurement ID. And then let's name this variable lookup table GA4 measurement ID, something like that. Click save. Now let's go to tags and install Google Analytics 4. Click new, tag configuration, then G4 configuration. And then here we need to enter that lookup table variable. Click plus and then select lookup table variable. And then let's fire this on all pages. Now let's name this tag. And let's test whether this is working. So I will click preview. I have already installed this container on both websites. So now let's go to the live website, click connect. And here I see that the preview mode has connected. If I go to the preview mode and go to container loaded and click on that G4 config and then switch to values, I will see the measurement ID of the live website because I am working on the live website. Now let's close this and then start a new preview mode. But this time I'm going to check the testing website, click connect. And now if I go to container loaded in the preview mode and click click GA4 config. This time the measurement ID is of the testing website. And the same principle applies to all GA4 tags. So for example, if you create a new event tag that will be using your GA4 configuration tag, this part will reuse the measurement ID from that particular configuration tag based on what is the host name. So if I say, I don't know, let's say test event and let's fire this on, I don't know, let's call this for fun on window loaded. 
this is just a test event. It actually doesn't mean anything in the actual setup. I just want to show you how this will work with event tags. So G for event, test event, and then click save. Now, if I click preview, Right now I am on the test website, preview mode has connected. If I go to continue loaded, the config tag is firing to the test measurement ID. If I click on window loaded and I click on the test event, we see that it is still using the correct measurement ID of the test website. In fact, if I go now to the test properties debug view, and I can do that by going to configure and then debug view, I will see the events right here. And if I, for example, click it and then choose page location, I will see that the host name is GTM course two. The same will apply to all other events. Now, if I go to the live property and then check debug view as well. I will also see events right here, but they were tracked on the live website. So this is how it can be done if you're using the same container on both different website versions. But you don't need to do this if you have two separate containers, one for live website and one for the test website. In that case, it is perfectly fine to not use this lookup table variable, but instead in your G4 configuration tag, just enter the measurement ID of the live website if this is live website's container, and then in another container, enter the measurement ID of your other property. And that is what you should do in Google Analytics 4 if you have several versions of the same website. The answer is use separate properties. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.